Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of complete subclavian steel. We have already posted another video about incomplete subclavian steel. So don't forget to check that if you have missed that. An elderly male patient who was admitted to our hospital for coronary artery bypass graft was sent to us for a routine neck vessel Doppler assessment which is commonly done prior to CABG. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Let's start with the carotid system first. Here you can see the internal and common carotid artery on the right side showing increased intimamedial thickness due to atherosclerotic change. The right common carotid artery contains a type 3 that is predominantly echogenic plaque causing mild luminal narrowing or stenosis. The right internal carotid artery also contains type 3 plaque which is causing moderate stenosis that is around 65 to 69% luminal narrowing. Here is the right common carotid artery flow that is within normal limit. The internal carotid artery is showing slightly increased flow velocity due to luminal narrowing. The right external carotid artery is also showing increased flow velocity. Here we have taken intimidial thickness from the left common carotid artery on the left image and on the right image from the right internal carotid artery. These parts show almost normal intimidial thickness. However, the left common carotid artery has a type 3 that is predominantly echogenic plaque which is causing around 32% luminal narrowing or stenosis and the left carotid bulb contains another plaque which is causing around 60% luminal narrowing or stenosis. Here is the flow from the left common carotid artery which is showing normal flow pattern. While tracing the left internal carotid artery, we have seen moderate luminal narrowing by type 2 that is predominantly sonolucent plaque. Here is the flow of the left internal carotid artery showing mild spectral burdening. The left external carotid artery is also showing increased flow velocity here. Now let's jump into the vertebral artery which is our main topic today. We'll go with the left vertebral artery first and this left vertebral artery is showing slightly increased flow velocity with a good amount of flow on diastole. Apparently it might be normal if the right vertebral artery is hyperplastic which is a common variant we see in our practice. With same preset, we are going to see the right vertebral artery now. The right vertebral artery is showing complete reversed flow during the cardiac cycle. You can see the flow below the baseline here. Let's see on real time. Here is the flow. You can see it is going backwards right now with no forward flow during the cardiac cycle. The velocity is not quite high. If you check the velocity, the peak systolic velocity is around 10 cm per second which is very low. So this complete reverse flow in the right vertebral artery suggests it as a case of right sided complete subclavian steel. That means your right vertebral artery is being used to supply your right arm vessels because of the significant obstruction of ipsilateral subclavian artery. So in summary, the right vertebral artery spectrum shows a complete reverse flow direction throughout the cardiac cycle indicating high grade stenosis of the right subclavian artery suggesting complete steel. Now the take home message. There are two different terms about the subclavian steel, the subclavian steel phenomenon and the subclavian steel syndrome. The stenoocclusive disease of the proximal subclavian artery with retrograde flow in the ipsilateral vertebral artery is known as the subclavian steel phenomenon. The steel syndrome is same as the subclavian steel phenomenon with the addition of cerebral ischemic symptoms. This subclavian steel syndrome or phenomenon is common in male patient and three times commoner on the left side. There are three different types of subclavian steel, pre-steel, incomplete or partial steel and complete steel. If you want to know detail about the subclavian steel, don't forget to mention it on the comment box below. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.